Tease back again, Free Parties TV. It's great to see Ryan back. Um, I'm outside the the Emirates. We've got AF TV here, and we got Ryan back home here, man. You just finished, yeah? I just finished work, man. Out of the boxes, obviously. What, what are the emotions? When I, work what, up there, I the, know the, the emotions, but yeah, it's a bad yeah. result today, man. Listen, you just mentioned Tony Adams. We could have done with him today, man. <laughs> listen, real talk, man. Same but um, <laughs> listen, two 0 Villa. It's just gotten, it's just so disappointing that we've seen Liverpool drop points against Crystal Palace and we had the chance to then catch for the capital. Ca I can't even get my words out. Nah, man, <laughs> I was that good. even, bro. Good, Couldn't even capitalise on it. But yeah. it's just, Arteta, I think Arteta got it wrong with the team today, man. I just felt like, why did you take off Zinchenko when Ben White should have stayed on for me? And Zinchenko, I lost count how many times he gave the ball away. We didn't play our nice flowing pass, passing style. We didn't create any real clear cut opportunities in the second half. In the second half, I thought Villa were the better side. What they 2 0 flattered us, it could have been 3 or 4 0 Villa come the second half. And I felt like he, he missed the trick with not starting Partey, Rice, and, and Odegaard. Us fans have been calling that midfield out for the for last week, for like how long now? For the last three or four games. Yes, I know Partey's not been fully fit, but like I said to you in Bayern Munich on Tuesday night. Partey's a player that needs to be in the consistent rhythm. Let him have let him have two or three games under his belt. Get him into that rhythm. Because when Pass is in his rhythm, I'm sorry, he's better than Jorginho. And I know Jorginho didn't, didn't start today, but why is Havertz playing in the eight? I prefer Havertz as a false nine. And it's one of those ones I just felt like Arteta oh, tweaked with it too much today. He just I, I don't know what it is he tweaked with it too much. And I just felt like this is where we've lost the Premier League title. I'm taking the cat out of the bag and I'm saying that and I don't want to no credit to Aston Villa because to be fair, listen man, to move on to that, but go on, yeah. Yeah, but to be fair, half time you saw on the board, board yeah. 14 shots compared to their six. And if you see the chances, you see the amount of times Havertz was put through, Saka, Trossard, you know, right at the keeper, hit it right at the keeper. All those chances right at the beginning, maybe yeah. should have been free no Listen, up. listen. And, Cred and I respect it. It would have been a different ball game. The game would have been out of sight. Out of it would have been a four. It would have been, been a five. Sight. It would have been a five or six nil, like we've done with Burnley, Sheffield United. But credit to Villa. Unai Emery set out, set out a game plan. And when, he, game and when plan. he went, and when they went one nil up, he just knew. Listen, he knows Arsenal are a better possession ball team than them. You keep the ball. Yeah. And if you watch from the 60th minute onwards, and then when it, I think they scored in around the 60s. About this, well, Bailey, he put Bailey, he put Bailey, Bailey on, on, and he's the one that scored. Obviously. It was around the 68th, 70th, oh, yeah. so, around that time anyway, from the 70th minute when they went 1-0 one, one, you just looked at it, Villa said, this is an Arsenal, you could have the ball, we'll just hit you on the counter-attack. And that was, and, and you know that, And that, and that, worked for them. and that, exactly, it all worked in, the game plan worked in their favour because if Aston Villa score, we're going to be chasing, chasing. We're, going to, we're going to be up, we're going to open ourselves up. And, that, that, and that's where we leave ourselves vulnerable on a counter-attack. Counter 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 and you know what, we've on, seen obviously. Arsenal in the past, in previous games, I look at Brighton this time last year when they came to us and beat us 3-0. We've seen games in the past where if Arsenal don't get the first goal, at least try and equalise as soon as possible, we leave ourselves susceptible to being, to being getting counter-attacked. But listen, it's a bad day at the office. We have to dust ourselves down. And listen, I just hope Arteta can learn from this. Listen, if you know what my stance is, if you know, I've got to disagree. I've got to disagree with you there. I'll, tell, I'll say, go on, you say why. No, I'm just going to say, Arteta, it's, it's, the, it's down to the poor management for me. It's Tease, not man. poor management, man. Let, you let me give, tell you. You've got to give credit to Aston Villa. I've got to give credit. You've got to give credit to Aston Villa. You've got to give credit to Aston Villa. They were very lucky. I think Villa were very lucky. My, my question to you is, Ben, why did Zinchenko come off? Why, he knew that Zinchenko was losing the ball so many times. Switch it up. Go a bit more pragmatic and defensive, as well as knowing you've got an attacking threat of Saka, Trossard and Martinelli, all of them not up top. For me, I just felt to myself that Arteta had one hand tied behind his back and he didn't know whether to go for it or hold back. And you can see that's how the momentum of the game was swinging when Villa... Villa, I, the amount of corners Villa had in that first, second half, I said to myself, to my guys when I was looking, I could, don't we just know it's coming without actually wanting to yeah, say it? Yeah, the whole stadium, the yeah. stadium was very quiet. The yeah. stadium was very quiet. Yeah. 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 I mean... Is it still there for the, for the, for the I'll, tell, I'll, tell, I'll tell you where we will realise our real lesson is the next game against Wolves next Saturday. Right. And that's when I'll know what the mindset and mentality of these players are. You go to Wolves, 
go and get free points. You go and get the job done, man. Because boy, it's it's, it's not. Still it's still interesting. interesting but it's still very tight. I mean, it's we're tight. Only two, we're only it's two only two points, points but see, you can't see being in the driving seat. We don't want them in the driving seat this time of the year. We just don't. Yeah, but, this is right, yeah, man. Big I mean, up tease. 